went a blade in races, was on the 9th of June, 1862, on a summer's afternoon. I took the bus to Bamberg's and she was heavy laden. The way we went along, calling the street that's on the road to Bladen. You're watching Toonami TV News Daily. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. The more people that like, the better. We'll get the word out there. And this is all things Newcastle United related news. So we're going to be looking at two key stories today. And they've both been reported by the Chronicle. So first up, some bad news again on injuries. Martin Dubravka has been ruled out for the start of the season and could be ruled out for up to a month. And that was said by Pavel Hapal, who is the Slovakian coach that coaches Dubravka uh, at international level. And he reckons that he's not going to be available for Newcastle United until at least October, which is the last thing that we needed after Dwight Gill also picked up a knee injury, which I'll talk about in a second, in the 3-0 win against Crewe. And with the transfer budget potentially being slashed this summer, Steve Bruce has been given the worst possible news. Now, I'll talk about Dubravka in a second, but we'll have a look at the statement from the Chronicle, and this is what it has to stay. It'll be on screen for you. Newcastle United fans are fearing the worst after news Martin Dubravka could miss the start of the season through injury. The Slovakian international goalkeeper will be out for several weeks, according to his national team head coach, Pavel Hapel, and looks to be doubtful for the start of the season. It means United could start the campaign with Carl Darlow between the posts with new boy Mark Gillespie as backup. Dubravka has been admitted from the National Nations League squads to face Czech Republic and Israel next month and Hapal told journalists that the Magpies keeper has been struggling with an ankle injury. And he's also went on to say he has problems with his ankle. He dropped out for six to eight weeks. I believe that he will be fine for the next matches around October time. And that's what uh, his international coach has had to say. And I feel like that's a real blow for us because Dubravka is the best keeper at the football club. He made the most saves in the Premier League last season. He bailed us out a lot of times. And yes, people will say, well, he makes a lot of errors. But let's be honest with you, those in front of him make a lot of errors because he has to you know, produce the saves to deny other opposition sides potential three points or a point and if it wasn't for Dubravka last season I'll be honest with you I think we'll go down I really do think we'll go down yes but defence can be solid at times but that's not to say that we don't get overrun in midfield and Dubravka is a key player for our squad and he's going to be a real miss and I think it's now up to Carl Darlow or Mark Gillespie to take ownership of the situation and try and give Steve Bruce a selection headache when Dubravka comes back by putting in some good performances. I do expect Carl Dollar to be the man to be the number one in the meantime, then Mark Gillespie to potentially come in as a, a backup number two. Freddie Woodman has been sent out on loan to Swansea, so there's no way that he's coming back. But Dan Langley would then be promoted to number three in the meantime. If it is all true, as reported in the Chronicle, I do wish to Bravka all the very best. And just as well, we did bring in Mark Gillespie uh, as another goalkeeper. Uh, as backup, you know, it's just our look at this moment in time. Uh, moving on to other news, and this is Dwight Gale. Now, Dwight Gale pulled up in the 3 0 win against Crew after around 63 minutes. He played about 15 minutes. He came on second half. He did set up Christian Atsu for uh, his first goal in ages, and then he didn't last much longer due to a knee injury. Now, he's had a scan. And it's not looking very good for Dwight Gale. So he's going to be out for some time, which is a bit of a setback, you know, for uh, Steve Bruce. And we've been linked with a striker over the course of the last few weeks. Steve Bruce has been talking about the fact that he wants a striker in by October. But what I'll say right now is we need a striker right now. We need two strikers, you know, potentially. Because for me, Joe Linton, he's not good enough. He's just got no confidence. He's not really a striker. He's a left winger. You've got Mutu. He's Casper, the friendly ghost. You hear about him, but you never see him. I don't know why he doesn't get a game because, let's be honest, he can't show his true potential. 
if he's not welcome in the side. And then you've already got Andy Cowles, yeah, fit out and out striker. How long is he going to be staying fit for? Well, it's not going to last very long, is it? He's one of them players who he's going to be fit for so long and then he's back in the treatment room and just relying on Andy Carroll is not going to get anywhere for the new season. You know, it's become a bit of a nightmare. And I'll read out the statement here from the Chronicle and this is what it's had to say about Dwight Gale. Newcastle United are assessing their striker options again in the transfer market following Dwight Gale's knee injury. The Magpies have been working closely on a deal for a left-back, but their plans have been affected by pre-season blow for the ex-Crystal Palace man. Gale underwent a scan on Tyne's head yesterday and his leg is in a support brace following the setback, suffered in the final win against Crew Alexandra. The 29-year-old could miss the start of the season with Andy Cowell, the only fit and available striker at United. United have been linked with Callum Wilson of relegated AFC Bournemouth throughout the summer, but the Chronicle Live understands that the striker will want more than £75,000 uh, per week to make the trip to the North East. And Newcastle Chiefs have been told to cut their cloth accordingly by Mike Ashley. Listen, it's a difficult one right now. Callum Wilson has been the big talk. £75,000 a week, let's be honest with you. This is now our fourth season in the Premier League. We should be able to afford £75,000 a week. He's going to guarantee you double figures in terms of goals. And he's got pace about him as well. Like Callum Wilson would be your ideal man to to start pushing us up the league. And we should have money to you know buy a striker. And they're saying, well, if we get Callum Wilson, that's our £30 million you know, pounds gone. Well, we should have more than £30 million pounds to spend. No offence to the board, but... You know, what are they spending the money on? Because the training facilities are absolutely disgusting. So that means we have got money to spend, you know, elsewhere on the squad. You know, where's the TV money gone? Because for me, we need a striker in right now. Because this current uh, squad right now isn't good enough. It's weaker than last season. I've said that before. We haven't got a, a recognised striker that's going to get with double figures. And even if we had a fit Dwight Gill, he's not going to get you those double figures. He's a championship striker at best. It's just baffling beyond belief, you know, and we've got until October to get a striker, but I'd rather get one before the West Ham game in a few weeks' time. It's not difficult. You know, we've been linked with a left-back, but the last thing that we need, you know, right now is not getting that striker in. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Troy Deeney, he's been linked uh, from Watford. I can't see that, unfortunately, just due to the fact he's 32 year old Yes, you could argue Rondon was, is of an age of 30 and he'd done OK on loan, but... Troy Deeney, for me, he's injury-prone. And Watford are looking for a sizable fee. He's also on around 100 grand a week. I don't think Mike Ashley's going to pay that. And also, just the age factor, I don't think he's really going to last. And with the injury that he suffered last season, that's not going to help our cause. We need a striker who's going to be fit and raring to go. So, that is your news regarding Newcastle United. So, first up, fans are fearing the worst for Martin Dubravka. He's going to be out for up to a month. And Andy Carroll is our only fit and out-and-out -out striker due to the fact that Dwight Gale has suffered an a knee injury, so he's going to be out for a while. It just goes from bad to worse, doesn't it? But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some players through the door because we need to strengthen this squad. That is a must. If you're new around here, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please hit the thumbs up as well. It's free to do, so the more thumbs up we'll get, the better. Put your comments down below. There'll be a video out tomorrow featuring Tykes TV from Barnsley talking all things the opposition as we take on Barnsley in a pre-season friendly on Saturday afternoon at the training ground. So stay tuned to that for tomorrow. And we'll look forward to hearing his thoughts. And uh, yes, have a good day. Keep it tuned. Until the next one, how are the lads? Hey, hey,